It is Global Running Day, and all morning long, we've been following our GMA squad as they raced around the city. Amy, Becky, and Will, well, they're here after going the distance. Job well done, you guys. That's right. Thank you. Getting off on the right foot, by the way, Mike. Also means having the right shoes on your feet, correct? And, Becky, you have your top picks for running shoes to help us all go the extra mile. That's right. I mean, do you know if you're neutral, a toe runner? Do you need lots of cushioning? Well, good news, because the latest high-tech shoe designs have got you covered. Running shoes have advanced. While these promise a spring in your step, more mainstream shoes have evolved, too. It seems like the pillowy foam heel, once a hallmark of only the Hoka brand, has branched out to many shoes. Brooks has the Glycerin 17. This has a big, soft heel. Nike's Vaporflies have it too. Plus, they've got more water resistance in the fabric of the shoe and this funky widow's peak that they say helps with speed. From New Balance, not only is the heel huge, but they've got a ton of padding under the toe box too. And let's talk toe boxes. These are the ultra drop shoes that give your feet a wide area to splay naturally. It's wide, not clown shoe wide, but it looks good. And Adidas has gone in two different lifestyle directions. This shoe totally recyclable, and then there's the fashion play. Coming off the athleisure trend, you gotta have nice kicks to go with your fancy leggings. And Adidas has a co-brand with fashion house Missoni. Ooh la la. To determine which are right for me, I head to the UC San Francisco Orthopedic Lab. The team here will analyze my running style. The first thing you can notice is you're really right on that forefoot. And my ponytail is swinging appropriately? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then analyze my gait. You might be trying to hold yourself more firm as you're running with your shoes on. I also look more upright, don't yeah, I? Yeah, I agree with that. It turns out I run on my toes. Shoes with really big heel cushions force me to run with an unnatural stride. This is where, you know, effects of footwear can really change impact forces and mechanics. And that's the point. Running shoes are really personalized and you may need help choosing. You probably got to try them out, run in them, make sure they're comfortable. to go to a good running sh uh, shoe store yep. and have them look at your gait and tell you what shoes are right for you. Yep. Yeah, take your time, get yourself in, and it'll help you in the long run. Right. And Amy, you, you're an avid runner. Like yes, you're, I am. You really are. Marathons, you do it all. But well, I'm your... going to do my first marathon in November. I do half Woo! marathons. <laughs> you, you've, hiked, you've hiked the highest peaks in the world. How about that? That's even tougher. But I have a question for you. You, you have three tips for us from motivation because yeah. that's one of the hardest things for people. I think the first thing that I've done that has changed my life is finding a running buddy. Mine is Nikki Espina, and I love to run with her. I also get my daughters to run with me. If you don't have anybody to run with, go to your local running store. They usually have a club you can join. It just makes it better because you make that appointment with each other, a date with each other, and it becomes a social thing. Also, have some themed runs. For example, we like to run to Katy Perry songs sometimes. Uh, there's a great app called Earbuds, so you guys can be listening to the same songs at the same time time oh. we have broadway runs we'll be like you know singing a new argentina <laughs> while we're running and you said Vina. you said theme i was picturing y'all would dress up like yeah. pirates no, no 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 it's the music okay. you can also listen to podcasts audiobooks if you have long runs i know that helps and also use your apps on your phone to stay motivated i like strava uh, because you can actually track how fast you're running how long you're running like i got a little note like hey in april you ran 70 miles and i felt so proud of myself wow. so it kind of gets you to keep going and get the most out of your runs you can learn and how, how you are pacing yourself during your different splits. I like that app, Couch to 5K. Yes. That's, that's, that's my great. Couch I like to 5K. that. Couch yeah. to 5K. Just get me, just get me off the couch. Yeah. Perfect. And, and will we know, charity, like, giving back is a motivator yeah, for you. Yeah, of course. And I think it should be for anyone. If you want to run for a cause, a lot of charities have entries into these big races. And the trade-off is... You run and raise money, so that motivates you. You stay accountable to all the people donating, and you're making a difference. Everybody yeah. wins. Everybody wins. Yeah. <laughs> giving up the calories and you're giving back. All right, getting exercise in. You got it really made to see you guys running through the park. I was a little jealous, but not enough to join you. <laughs> but you know what? You all ran that race today, but you are all winners. Oh, oh look at that. There you go. Look at that game. running shoes that Becky talked about on our website, so make sure you check it out. GoodMorningAmerica.com.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.